Hey there, fishing girl. We are at Flagler Pier tonight and we're going to be doing some fishing. So we are going to be doing some pier fishing. I have heard my friend say he's completely crushing the sea trout on the pier. So we're going to give that a try. We've got a float rig. We've got a heavy duty rig to catch some bigger fish. We're going to see what happens. So we'll see you out there. All right, we are on the pier. And I've got this float rig here. So I got this from, the idea of this from my friend Spencer. What we've got is, if I can pull this out here, we've got a stop knot. This little dude here, this slides, this pink thing, it'll slide up and down the line and it will stop the, the, uh, the float from going up any further. So we've got that. We've got beads on both sides. We've got a sinker that will sit on the bottom and then that's connected to a, <laughs> it's kind of windy, a live shrimp. So this is the basics of what this float rig is for. And we're gonna cast it out. We're gonna see what happens. So when you're using a float rig, you're mainly watching for that float to go underwater to get tugged down that's when you know you've got something biting but the stop knots working I can see the float moving up and down on the line all the way up to the stop knot I might need to raise the stop knot a little bit higher so that the shrimp is sitting closer to the bottom. Oh, we're gonna head. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, doesn't seem like anything huge. Let's see what's going on. things I do when I'm pier fishing is I have little bells that I put on the end of the rod and that will tell me when a fish is hitting. Um, another thing that I do, if you can see, I'm going to step out of the way. If you can see the way that I have my rod set up, I've got it pushed against there. I've got my drag loosened because if a fish bites on that and starts pulling on the line, I want the drag to be loose enough to where the line's gonna go out and it's not gonna pull my whole fishing pole into the water. So we're gonna walk around a bit. It might be a little windy, but I want you to see this sun, sunset over here. It's beautiful. And I got my husband Andy out here fishing today. Say hello. Howdy. To all the fishing girls. <laughs> so he's... I'm gonna catch Moby Dick tonight. See it for the first time. <laughs> yeah, he's he's looking for uh, more like the bigger game fish. So we'll see what happens there. And I got my friend James over here. James is part of our fishing group. He's trying to float rig as well. This one keeps getting dinged, but I don't know what's going to go on with it. We'll see. So I'll be putting, uh, once it gets dark, I'm going to put the camera on my chest and we'll have a headlamp and we'll go from there. But for now, we'll stay uh, hooked up here so you can see what's going on with my lines. All right, we switched to the other side of the pier. It's a little bit more sheltered over here. We're going to see what happens on the other side here. Yeah, 
I think the side is worse because it's like it's pushing everything right into the pier. In here. Oh, well, the bait's gone. Yeah. Need more bait. there <laughs> like less than a minute later it's way over there it's so weird okay this one's getting hit a lot it doesn't seem like it's just waves so we're gonna see what's going on here and you get to see this nice sunset while I'm doing this oh yeah there's some weight on there Think, unless it popped off. It was really heavy a second ago, and now it's not. I think it popped off. Oh, maybe not. nothing okay so we moved down here and we're down there we are right in front of this first uh, sandbar kind of right on the front end of it and I think this is gonna be a good spot we'll find out when I first recorded that video out on the pier because I didn't catch any fish I actually downloaded the information and saved it in a folder that said no fish caught because I thought who's going to want to watch something when I didn't even catch any fish. But here's the thing. When I went back and watched the footage, I saw how beautiful that sunset was. I saw me having a good time out there with friends and, um, you know, getting some bites, even though I didn't pull in some fish. And I just thought, you know, that's the reality of fishing. Sometimes you're not going to catch something. You're going to have a good time and you're going to enjoy just the beauty of God's creation. And it was just so wonderful and refreshing to be outside, to be, to enjoy it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, even though I didn't have some amazing fish to pull in and wow you with, um, I hope it encouraged you to get out and enjoy creation, enjoy, um, the good things that God's given us just in the natural beauty of the earth. But if you enjoyed enjoyed this content, go ahead and push that like, push that subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time that I put a video up or I go live. But I'm so thankful for all of you who keep watching these videos over and over again. Thank you, thank you so much. It helps me out a ton. And if you want to, share it with your friends. If you know someone else who might enjoy watching these videos, go ahead and share it with them. I really, really appreciate it. So until next time, we'll see you, fishing girl.